This demonstration will help illustrate the current reconstruction efforts taking place in Afghanistan. If you'll notice in our map application, we are already zoomed into Afghanistan, with the black borders representing the individual provinces within the country. To our right, in the histogram, you will also notice that there are over 12,000 SERP projects currently depicted in our map. To help better show the distribution of some of these projects, we will turn on our heat map. Once the heat map is displayed, you will notice that a majority of these projects are taking place along the east side of the country, in provinces such as Helmand, Kandahar, Nangahar, Kabul, and Parwan provinces are some of the largest benefactors of these projects. Now that we have a pretty good idea of where some of these projects are taking place, I'm going to go ahead and lower the opacity of our heat map, and it'd be really nice to know what the population distribution is of Afghanistan. To do this, I'm going to go to my browser application. Once in the browser application, we're going to do a document search for Afghanistan population. We're going to open the document labeled Province Population Data, which was put out by the Afghanistan Central Statistic Organization. This document was originally an Excel file, which was imported into Palantir. All it is are the individual provinces with their respective populations. To help better graphically depict this data, we're going to add it to the map. We're going to go ahead and add selected and related objects to our map. And we're going to go ahead back to our map application. Once back in the map application, you'll notice to the right under our histogram helper that there are only 32 objects now selected. Of these 32 objects, all of them are the provinces and or regions that we added from the previous document. To help graphically depict the population distribution on the map, we're going to use the derive function. We're going to start by making sure our province's shapefile is highlighted, and then select the Derive button. We're going to label our new metadata attribute population, and we're going to only derive from the selected objects, which were our provinces. We're going to do a sum of property, as we want to count only the population within those provinces. We're going to select the Derive button once it's complete. Now that we have derived our population attribute, I can select Logger Province and go down and notice where it says population, 354,900. If we go to the original document in the browser application and locate Logger, you will notice that Logger does in fact have 354,900. Going back to our map application, now all we have to do to graphically depict the population distribution in Afghanistan is highlight our province's shapefile folder and select color by attribute. It automatically comes up as population and I can select any color I choose. I'm going to choose blue and select OK. Now obviously looking at our map, each population has a different color associated with it. The darker the color, the higher the population. Should I want to sort this out over here in our data layers helper, I can simply select and highlight our province's folder and right click and select sort by population. Now I can see Nuristan with a population of approximately 134,000 is the lowest populated province in Afghanistan, whereas Kabul with approximately 3.5 million inhabitants is the highest populated province in Afghanistan. Now what I can do is go to my heat map and increase the opacity. What this is going to show is the population distribution of Afghanistan overlaid with the number of SERP projects. From here, I can break it down and do some more comparisons by going down to my timeline and creating a temporal filter comparing the amount of SERP projects that occurred during 2005 to 2006 versus the number of projects that occurred during 2008 to 2009. Looking at the 0506 data, you'll notice that there weren't a lot of SERP projects that took place during this time frame. Moving my temporal filter to the right during the 2008-2009 time period, you're going to notice a drastic increase in the amount of projects that took place during this time frame. Removing my temporal filter, I'm going to head back to my Layers tab. Now that we're back in the Layers tab, I wanted to highlight some other provinces. Like here, look at Herat. As you can see, I've already derived some other attributes, such as number of attacks, number of SERP projects, the number of attacks for certain time periods, as well as SERP projects for certain time periods. One interesting province, Nangahar province, 
In 2005 to 2006, they received 30 attacks. In 2008 to 2009, that number dropped to 24, which is about a 25% decrease. If you look at the number of SERP projects that occurred, you'll see in 2005 to 2006, they received only three projects while in 2008 to 2009 they received approximately 244. This is an increase of approximately 5,000 percent. A lot of people say that these increases in CERP projects and the decrease in the number of attacks has a lot to do with the governor of Nangahar province. So what we're going to do is do a quick search for the governor of Nangahar province and you'll see that only one individual comes up so we're going to bring him into the browser application. Now that we're in the browser application, we can go ahead and select Galaga Sharzai's profile. We can clearly see that he is, in fact, the governor of Nangahar province. We can also see that he has ensured that roads get built, opium poppies are plowed under, and the Taliban are held at bay. This is likely part of the reason why Nangahar province has seen such a large increase in SERP projects and a decrease in the number of tax. You'll also notice on the right some of his affiliations or links. You can see obviously he's got connections to Kandahar, his father, and his brothers. The interesting link to Kandahar is that he was actually the governor from 2001 to 2003 and again from 2004 to 2005. Knowing that he was the governor of Kandahar, it would be interesting to see how they are doing as far as attacks and CERT projects. So let's go back to the map application. Now that we're in the map application, we can go ahead and highlight Kandahar province. Looking in the attribute metadata, we know that in 2005 to 2006, they saw 92 attacks. This number increased in 2008 to 2009 to 122, approximately increase of 32%. If we look at their SERP data, we know in 2005 to 2006, they had eight SERP projects. In 2008 to 2009, this number increased to 477 an increase well over 5,000 percent. Unlike Nangahar, where when they increased their CERP projects, their attacks went down, Kandahar saw an increase in both CERP projects and the number of attacks, which goes to show it's not only the amount of projects or the amount of money you can throw into the country, but you need a dedicated person who is willing to help make change.